Meanwhile, Delta State Governor Right Honorable Sharif Oboruwari supports financial autonomy for local governments and the separation of powers. He stated that since his inauguration nine months ago, he has not interfered with local government projects and has seen successful harvests. Abarwar believes that if local governments do their own at the state level and the federal government does its own, the hardships felt today will be reduced. Honorable Victor Ebonka, Algon chairman, expressed gratitude to the governor for approving 40 new teachers and over 3,000 primary school staff in Patani local government areas. And the support of financial funding to local governments. Because I have never interfered with what you are doing at the local governments. Give people that freedom. And you came out with projects. You want to manage the funds. In your local government. So they will see how there's a project in all the local government. If the local government chairman is what they have done, I will also do our own at the states. I will tell them, also do their own, and tell them their own. You can see that hardship or our best thing will be. Actually, and I believe that there's kind of system. And I believe that this phase of this hardship that we are facing in this country, this phase will too phase out. But the encouragement of 40 more teachers in the Pacific was not only to guarantee, but, but to accept our parents, go out of your way to ensure that you, you facilitate. Our obtaining of the facility through which we are paying our pensioners. More than 30,000 pensioners have been paid, and the payment is ongoing each week. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.